Simmer down. Well done. You want one? Let me get one. Good morning, everybody. It's my favorite day, Saturday. Got some bad news. Um, it's a hundred percent chance of rain, and we got this monstrosity heading our way. Uh, it's not a hurricane. It's just another <laughs> rainy day in Florida, basically. So I don't know what much I'll be able to get done today, but I could show you a few new things. So the engine, for the most part, is assembled. The rotating assembly, for that matter, is just threw the oil pan on there, so it just helps any additional dust not get in there. Rotating assembly is assembled. I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that, cause uh, like hours of time lapse equals like a 30 minute video. <laughs> so we might do some more stuff on this. I need to order a oil pump because the oil pump I have is completely obliterated. I'll show you that now. And yeah, so press pause on that. What we'll probably do, since it's gonna rain, is we'll listen to some relaxing rain and pick a set of heads out of these sets and fully assemble them so that they will be ready to slap on the, the block. Got a few things in today. If you got a Turbo LS, these are the plugs you're gonna wanna run. BR7EF by NGK. They're actually really cheap and they just work really well. Got them spidey reflexes today, y'all seen that? Sometimes you don't always have to get the most expensive stuff. These are just what work and work well. <clears throat> and there's plenty of people that will tell you the same. Now, I wouldn't order these from Amazon because Amazon does have a lot of knockoffs and I just wouldn't, they're so cheap at other places that uh, just don't risk it on Amazon. If you're gonna buy these, they're $2 each on Summit Racing. So I would highly recommend just buy them from Summit Racing. That way you know you're getting the right, getting the right ones. Got my torque converter bolts. I have these same bolts somewhere, but, um, and they're reusable, but we're just gonna get a new set because they're also so cheap. I was so impressed with Summit Racing's cam bearing install tool. Oh, good morning. That, uh, I went ahead and picked up one of these because when you're under a vehicle and you're by yourself and you're trying to turn the flywheel with like a flat, big flathead screwdriver, it's not a good time. So I'm gonna give their, another one of their tools a shot. This is a flywheel turner tool and it basically is spring loaded. So you wedge it in there and you're able to turn the flywheel from under the car. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that tool was 
solid. Definitely recommend. Very nicely made. So we'll be trying that out. Once we get the engine in and trans in and we go to bolt up the torque converter. And then we got our flex plate. So this is something that was recommended by a friend of mine. I've ran stock flex plates to 800 horsepower and not had any issues, but <clears throat> if you know what a flex plate is, you do not want that thing coming unglued if you know you're gonna be putting a lot of steam through it. Well guys, I fucked up. That eBay clutch finally blew. You'll see that right there. Blew the whole dash out. So the whole bell housing. There's part of my harness. There's my cross member. My exhaust. And there's all that. Blew up through the firewall. Blew all that up. Blew the exhaust off. But just wanted to show you all that. So I asked one of my buddies, I was like, what do you recommend for a flex plate? And he's like, well, Summit Racing has their 29.1 SFI rated flex plate and I've ran it up to 1300 and not had any issues. So I was like, alright, that sounds solid to me. So here we go. Our SFI certification there, 29.1 flex plate. And this is only 100 bucks. So I think I paid like 70 bucks for the stock one. This is kind of a no brainer. So. We got, hopefully, the holes will match up with our converter. If they don't, we'll have to send it back and get a different one. But this should be just fine for what we're doing. And that's a lot more comforting knowing that it's SFI rated. So it's raining outside. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these heads off. These are the heads that the deck was machined at a machine shop. You know, engine shop, engine builder shop, whatever. Basically, whenever you're doing something like this, the best thing you could do is have really good lighting. You want to be able to really see what you're doing. That is like one of the biggest tips for anything you're going to do that's like critical or where you're going to be doing sketchy stuff. Being able to see stuff that you may not have been able to see is pretty important. So all right, now we got our good lighting. You can see this one's already done. And then this one's um, halfway done. You gotta do these two. But basically, what you do is you take an exhaust gasket. You take a couple of bolts and you throw it up there. <clears throat> Make sure it's in the right orientation. Put your bolts in to hold it for you. Then you take a fine point Sharpie and you trace the inside of this gasket. So once you've done that, you'll have these nice little guidelines to tell you where to stop. I'm going to show you where to, a few key points you need to be careful for. If you choose to do this, you don't want to dig down on the bottom because there is coolant galleys that go through there. Now, if you're using carbide bits, do not use a double cut burr. I'll show you the difference. I can find it. You want to use a fluted burr and it has these big flutes. That's the best for aluminum. Little secret right there. If you use a double cut burr <clears throat> like this, it has double cuts, it'll gall up and fill up with aluminum. But you can use this on steel and composites and it works great. So these are tungsten carbide bits. And that's what's gonna work the best. Then we're gonna come back with these sanding, little sanding rolls, smooth it out, and we'll attempt to polish it, and see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse and get to it.
Well, definitely rained. Definitely rained. I bet that fish was full way higher than that. And then it tore and I'll pour it out. Man, I kind of like this one. I'm going to have to get another one. I'm fixing to get poured on here. I had to hustle. So, didn't get much on video, but I am now. So, hood pins installed. Gangster. <laughs> and did the submarine mounting point for the belt on both sides. Oh, yeah, she ain't going nowhere. about safety so gotta burn them in good make sure they ain't gonna go nowhere and uh, yeah that's all I really got to do today because it's already starting to drizzle so sorry guys I'm gonna catch you on the next one peace oh, you want another